In this video, we're taking a look at the new Huawei MateBook D15 and some reasons why you should buy this if you're in the Huawei ecosystem. Let's take a look. Okay, firstly, this isn't a review. I did more of an in-depth video on the previous D15 and a lot of the stuff is the same on here. So watch that video after this if you're keen. Right, so firstly, let's take a look at some of the highlight specs on this. You've got a 15.6 inch full HD display, a light and sleek metallic body weighing in at just 1.56 kg, a smart design, that's your fingerprint sensor built into the power button, retractable camera within the keyboard. You also get the 11th gen Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics. You get Wi-Fi 6 and finally and most importantly, you get multi-screen multi-device collaboration with all Huawei devices. Let's first talk display. It's a pretty good display. You get a 15.6 inch full HD IPS full view display with slim bezels on three sides and a bit of a chin at the bottom giving you 87% screen to body ratio. Pretty immersive. Not the brightest though, we get a max brightness of 250 nits. Images will be slightly washed out when you're looking at it from the side compared to head on. So viewing angles, not really the best. It does though come with TUV Rainland low blue light certification and flicker free certification. Content looks all right on here. I don't have any issues with that. Watching YouTube, Netflix and browsing is pretty enjoyable. Colors are natural and pleasant. I would not color correct and color grade my videos or pictures on here though. For build and ports, uh, it's pretty nice, light and has a thickness of just 16.9 millimeter. You get one USB Type-C, one USB 3.2 Gen 1, one HDMI, two USB 2.0s and a 3.5 mm audio jack. The fingerprint sensor is fast and snappy built into the power button. The camera is built into the keyboard just like before, allowing for those thinner bezels. The camera does up to 720p in video. The keyboard and touchpad are pretty standard, just like the previous D15. Now the brains of the laptop, the processor. The version I got comes with the 11th gen Intel i5 1135G7 processor with Intel Iris Xe graphics. You can either get 8GB of RAM or 16GB of RAM. This is the 8GB RAM. So for most productivity work, uh, this laptop is more than powerful. Stuff like browsing, light productivity work, uh, Excel sheets, online based work, it's buttery smooth. For light office work, university or college work, uh, light content creation like photo and video editing, it's a great option. By pressing function P, you can activate the performance mode uh, if you want a bit more muscle. I even tried a bit of Valorant and gaming on here, which I don't usually play, so if I suck, I'm sorry. Uh, but I got 90 plus FPS with the highest graphical settings, 120-ish FPS with medium graphic settings, and 160 and above FPS with low graphic settings. You can kinda game on here with certain games, and it's not too terrible, I didn't have screen tearing and stuff. Finally, on to what I really made this video for, which is the multi-screen, multi-device collaboration with the Huawei devices and the Huawei ecosystem as a whole. If you're someone that already uses Huawei devices, this laptop is kind of a no-brainer for you guys and here's why. I've got the Huawei P50 Pro, the MatePad 11, and the FreeBuds 4 to demonstrate this. All of these work together seamlessly, giving you a more continuous experience from device to device. This isn't a new feature, but with the new Harmony OS, this has been significantly improved. It just feels a lot more fluid. Now, if you take the P50 Pro, for example, and touch it on the touchpad, bam. You're connected. Your phone will then appear on the D15, allowing you to fully control it right from there. Now you can literally set your phone aside and work on your laptop and have your phone, full access to your phone, right on there without ever having to touch the phone itself. You can navigate through the different apps, use whatever you want on the phone, transfer files to and from the phone. Uh, you can even access every single folder within the phone itself. It's super fast too. There's pretty much no lag when you're using it in a stable connection. Also thanks to the Wi-Fi 6 compatibility. This is even more enjoyable with the Huawei MatePad. Once connected, you get various integration options. You're gonna get mirror mode, extend mode, and collaboration mode. So mirror mode literally, well, mirrors the D15 onto the tablet. The extend mode turns your tablet into a secondary external monitor. Collaborate mode allows you to use your tablet as a tablet, your laptop as a laptop, yet still stay connected in order for you to transfer files over and still be able to use your mouse and keyboard from the laptop onto the tablet. Additionally, things like the FreeBuds 4, for example, once you open it up, 
it's connected to the laptop, it easily shows you all of the different stats, battery percentage, all of that really seamlessly and it looks very good as well. So your music, audio, everything switches at an instant. Honestly, I really enjoyed this specific aspect of the D15, especially when it comes to the collaboration with all these devices under Harmony OS. Definitely one of the top ecosystem executions that I've seen. Now, how does that affect the battery life? Well, you get a 42 watt hour battery on here and it comes with a 65 watt supercharging brick. So the charging brick is powerful enough to give you two hours of MateBook usage from just a quick 15 minute charge. I love the fact that the brick isn't massive, it can fit in your pocket. Uh, it looks just like the fold charger and coincidentally supporting supercharge for your Huawei smartphones or tablets as well. So essentially you have this one charging brick and cable that can charge up all your Huawei devices, whatever you're using. That's some pretty good ecosystem friendly behavior right there. I would say the biggest reason to purchase this would be if you're already in the Huawei ecosystem. It just flows and gels so well together. If you're outside of the Huawei ecosystem, not really the greatest recommendation I can give you. There's certainly a lot of other laptops out there within the same price range that'll give you similar or even better performance. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it useful. Be sure to like the video and consider subscribing for more content just like this. And I'll be seeing you again in the next video. Until then, 